SBMM, microtransactions. A third bad thing. You can you can kind of just take your pick. But remember a time not so long ago where there was only one kind of sprint? Where you spent more time in-game shooting bad guys and less time in menus, figuring out how to min-max your bad guy shooting potential? A time where you could stay up all night pub stomping, force-feeding yourself Doritos and Mountain Dew without also being force-fed ads for the WWE? Well, you shouldn't. Yep, the mod that was aiming to completely remaster the original MW2's multiplayer that was supposed to come out this past weekend has officially been tactically nuked by Activision, which made the community... Sad. And honestly, it just kinda sucks being a Call of Duty fan these days. The current game, while it's fun at its core, has just lost me with its live service. And while BO6 may just be a few months away, um, it's still a few months away. So I wanted this video to be like a state of the COD community address. Starting with the worst news and moving all the way to the best news so that there's kind of a natural progression there. And so hopefully we don't cry ourselves to sleep tonight thinking about what could have been. And speaking of what could have been, I mentioned the H2M mod earlier, which was a mod created by a pretty small team that was trying to remaster the entirety of MW2 onto the old MWR engine. And it was the fastest I've ever seen the community go from that cheering at the TV in the bar meme to the meme of Andy punching the wall in the office. Am I using memes right? They, they went from really happy to really mad. And what's extra shitty is that the mod was already done. Unlike S2M, which was the last mod to get shut down, Activision seemed to wait until the very last second before sending out a cease and desist. So all of those devs who worked on this thing for months, if not years, uh, just had it taken away from them at the final hour. Or should I say, finest hour. You know, because of the, the call. Ah, fuck, I should have done Final Front. And one thing that I keep seeing everywhere is just the general sentiment of, like, if you didn't know this was coming, then you're an idiot. Which, like, I don't disagree with, but at the same time, I don't know anyone who didn't think this could happen. Like, everyone that I talked to about this was just constantly white-knuckling it and puckering their holes Ugh. hoping and praying that Activision wouldn't find out about this. And for some reason, I, I guess someone on the dev team decided that it'd be a good idea to just give a bunch of content creators early access to this mod. So the last week has been flooded with nothing but videos hyping this mod up. But like, that hype is kind of what got the game killed. If they just dropped this thing without telling anyone, sure, you might be cease and desisted like a week from now, but at least by then, it's out in the wild. At least then it would get to exist for a little bit for people who don't have 100,000 subscribers or so. Like, once Charlie Intel starts tweeting about something, you've gotta think that, like, some social media guy at Activision is forced to pick up the phone and call the C-suites, right? This was also just after MWR went on sale for about a week, and Steam saw just a massive uptick in the amount of people playing this game, which almost certainly means that Activision saw a little, a little blip on their profit margin uh, over the past week or so, purely due to this mod. Just to snap it out of existence after making as much money as they could uh, without it actually getting out. Like, it's, it's shitty. It's shitty. It's bad. I don't like it. There's no... That's a bad thing that they did. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, so next up in decreasing order of depression inducing, uh, we actually have some Call of Duty 2026 news, uh, which is pretty fucking awesome, right? <laughs> right? No, it's not. So this one's just got a single tweet. Uh, it's from Charlie Intel, by way of Bob Network UK. Some unconfirmed leaks about Infinity Ward's Call of Duty 2026. We got two bullet points. One, we'll reportedly have some MW3 2011 maps, which I don't, I don't like. Uh, honestly, I'm, uh, we, we've, we've already done it. Like, I was cool with MW3 doing it this past year, uh, because it was a one-time thing, but if that becomes the norm, 
Um, like, what the, what the fuck are we doing, guys? And bullet point two, which is, uh, a lot more important. The game is reportedly at a standstill as the team is unhappy with certain aspects of it as Activision is putting pressure on the studio. So, uh, yeah, um, the good news is there's still a full two years in between now and then. That's like a normal uh, life cycle for, for Call of Duty. Or rather, dev cycle, not life cycle. I think they shot themselves in the foot with MW3 a little bit in terms of, like, the the campaign just taking in a, such a bizarre direction of um, being bad. And then likewise with the multiplayer taking it in a completely other direction as well uh, with it being bad good so like i don't know how they're gonna juggle you know make make the campaign good and also make the multiplayer good i think they're really gonna have to lock in and figure out um how to do that and now for the most neutral news story of the day uh modern warfare 3 season 5 reloaded is coming this week does does anyone care? I don't think there's even any new maps. Here, I'm gonna put on screen, here are all the new things that are coming on Wednesday. Um, you know, you can pause it to take a look. Um, nothing really too crazy. I mean, I guess it's cool that Modern Warfare Zombies is finally getting an ending. Uh, you know, kinda reminds me of The Walking Dead in that its ending also came long after the creators and the audience just kinda stopped giving a shit. Anyway, on to the next thing. So for this one, we have more than just a tweet. We have a whole ass blog post to go over. So strap on in. This is a blog talking about uh, upcoming updates to COD HQ and how they're going to make our lives better and how they're finally gonna prove to us that it needed to exist. Firstly, at season five reloaded, uh, they're gonna reorganize some game content. It's gonna be a large download, but it's going to kind of reorganize some stuff uh, seemingly so that uh, you can, you can, uh, oh, oh, and they're also starting to implement this new texture streaming stuff. The jury's out on if that's going to be good or not. I would hope that they wouldn't push something out that would kill your, like, internet connection on a game that heavily relies on having good ping. Like, I would really, really hope that they've tested this and, like, they, they know it's going to work, but, um... I'm terrified. If you don't know texture streaming, I, I guess the idea is you don't actually need to download textures onto your console. Instead, they stream the textures over the internet to you. So you just download the, the I guess the, the mesh. I don't fully know exactly how everything works on their back end, but even just textures alone, um, not having to download those should make file sizes smaller, which let's not forget that back during like Warzone 1 era, that was people's number one complaint, was like, why the fuck is Vanguard 170 gigabytes or whatever? It's solving one problem, it's creating others, but at least it's solving the problem that we did have, right? It's kind of a pick your poison at the moment. And then is the part that I am most excited about. They're going to introduce a new UI system. As you can see, we still kind of have these big like mobile game tiles, but at least they're, they're organized in a better way, right? It seems like you have kind of your playlists down here on the bottom, your featured playlists, then your message of the day, I assume. This says just Black Ops 6 Zombies. I don't know if that would launch you into zombies differently than the Black Ops 6 launcher over here would, but it seems like all your games are gonna be on the top and then like, like quick access to playlists are on the bottom. And then once you click into a game, then it gives you, you know, your standard multiplayer, zombies, single player, your your kind of three options that you've always had in every Call of Duty before. And then they included a quick little preview of uh, the, the UI for, for Black Ops 6 multiplayer. I'm sure this is gonna change, you know, uh, uh, a million times over before then. My biggest thing with this UI and the UI in general, it just needs to work. Like right now, hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm in game. When I just like cycle through the tabs, it's, glitchy as hell like like here i am just trying to get to store up oh, and i cycle too much everything just takes forever to load right i go over to operators i get stuck on operators for a bit i get stuck on uh, stuck on operators still weapons it all takes forever to load up so to me while i still have a lot of issues with this ui um so much of that would be 
pushed aside. If the thing just worked, if the thing was as responsive as hitting a button and the thing just happens. I also saw some people referencing this exact video saying like, oh, it's super responsive and like, like you get into a lobby so quick. This is this is a hundred percent just like a transition in Premiere. These are just multiple clips that they're stitching together. Like, like this is not how we're gonna enter games. There's just no way. And then the last few updates on this blog post, it's just saying the Black Ops 6 launch and then season one. They don't really go into too much more detail there. I really just wanted to talk about the UI because that's something that excites me. God, that that is the actual state of the COD community. We're so down bad that we're looking at like a still of a new UI concept and we're like, fuck yeah, that's our shit, you know? Anyway, and lastly, I just want to end on some Black Ops 6 hype. We just had the zombies reveal the other day, which is looking just goddamn amazing. And I know I say this every year, but I mean it this time, 100%, this is my year. I'm breaking back into Call of Duty Zombies. Watch me. Plus, COD Next is just over one week away, with the beta starting like two days after. So there is a lot to be excited about very soon and until then we're just gonna have to wait um and that's that's about it you guys been playing anything good recently